Welcome back everybody to the sixth and final episode of Out the Box here at Oasis Community Kitchen. I am your chef and host, Ron Harper. Today I'm introducing to you another female of the industry, another lady of the industry doing her thing, Valicia from Valicious Sweetery and Catering. Come on over. Yes. Hi Ron. How Hi, you everybody. doing today? I'm doing good. Now, Valicia. 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 See, I, I get it tongue tied <laughs> a little tight. bit. Valicia is actually uh, an alumni of uh, Cohort 4, which is on our own. Um, the food service addition, uh, I could say. Um, we are alumni. Same class. Yeah, yeah. same class, yeah. Um, doing a thing. And uh, she is here with us today to do Out the Box. Um, what are you preparing for us today? Uh, marinated collard green salad. Marinated collard green salad. Yes. That's what we're doing today, folks. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step to the side a little bit. I'm going to let her get in here and do her thing. And you know I'm going to do what I do every single episode. All right. So just, just tell the, the, the people at home what you're starting with. I'm uh, going to start with the sweet potatoes because we're going to roast those off. Okay. So we have sweet potatoes in this recipe. We have uh, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, apples, peppers, onions, a little bit of everything that balances out. So. Okay. So what do you need to do with the pepper? I mean, the sweet potatoes, we're going to peel them. Peel them. We're going to dice them. Okay. And we're going to uh, toss in some olive oil and salt and stick it in the oven first. Okay. Do All right. Thing. So I'm going to peel my sweet potatoes. You got to take the thing off first, huh? Is it on there? Uh-oh. Oh, oh. I thought oh. we had this off. Oh no, see? Mm -hmm. Okay. You need some, uh, you need, new, you need some that's assistance. Why. Brand spanking new. That's how we do it. Oh, you're giving me new stuff to kitchen. use. Uh huh. Yeah, you want to fix it off. Okay, I got you. So, what we going to do? We take this knife, make it real simple, and break that up. I don't think if that, I don't think that made it too simple, but. It didn't. You got to um, split down the middle. So, here it is. Mm -hmm. I'm that dude. I'm that dude in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. See? All right, now if we can just get my name right, we uh -huh. good. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna hear the end of that. <laughs> nah. Nope. So tell me a little bit about you and your business. What do what do you what do you do? Tell the people at home what you do. Um, I'm a chef at um, Metz Culinary Management, and on the side, I own my own baking business, Valicia Sweetery and Catering. Um, I like doing baked goods, but I also do little small events for brunches and showers as well for, for hot food and things. Okay. My main thing that I'm known for that everybody keeps asking for is my sweet potato, um, peach cobbler cupcakes, I'm sorry, and my sweet potato pies. Those are the main things that I get asked for a lot. And folks, I've seen the goodies. <laughs> I taste the goodies, and the goodies are good. Um, woo! I tell you, um, cookies melt in your mouth, cupcakes just mm, <laughs> make you want to sing a little bit. And my cupcakes um, aren't the average size cupcakes either. They're jumbo size. Are huge, but, but they're, they're delicious good. and they're worth every penny. Trust me. Um, I don't even know what to say about them, but the food is good. Her, her, her cupcakes, I haven't tasted the food food, but I taste the cupcakes and her baked goods, delicious. Appreciate it. So, I, by the end of the show, you'll know uh, a way to get in contact with her uh, so you can order your baked goods for any special event that you may have um, or just because you want to be greedy and sit on the couch and eat baked goods. I mean, you can nothing do that too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> so what size dice are you um, making? I want to do things? a medium dice. Medium dice? Yeah. Okay. And this salad, it's, it's a cold salad or a hot salad? It's a cold salad. It needs to actually marinate. So um, when we do this, the greens are actually supposed to marinate for at least two hours. Okay. And then you kind of like put it together and then let it sit for four hours or up to 24 hours. So it's something that you can make ahead and just have to the side. Gotcha, gotcha. Which is always good when you're trying to have other things going on. It's just something easy to do ahead of time. And it's really simple. The only thing that's really getting cooked is the sweet potatoes. Now, for your carrots, we can steam them or you can just leave them raw. It's all up to preference. Okay. I love roasted sweet potatoes, so I'm doing three. Okay, okay. I have a tendency not to measure sometimes, but it ah. all works out. Ah. I'm one of the ones that go by eye. <laughs> but the, 
and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, for the most part, chefs, you know, who usually do their thing and get down in the kitchen, they don't usually measure because they know. Mm -hmm. When you get into the baking aspect of, of, of the culinary field, that's when you have to do a lot of measuring and be precise with your measurements. When you're in the, when you're in the kitchen, just kind of, I'm, I'm gonna use the word freaking your food, um, getting down, getting busy, you know, there's typically no measuring. Um, mm -hmm. you, you, you throw in the food according to what you like. Um, and, and you get a gnat from doing it over and over again. You typically can do it the same way and don't need no measurements. Each time, yeah. Each time you do it. Um, so it comes with practice, comes with knowledge of the kitchen and the products that you're working with. I know the flavors that. and tastes. The only thing I don't measure when it comes to bacon is my um, bread puddings. Because okay. you just know the consistency and ratio right. of your uh, right. eggs, cream, and milk. So other than that, you do have to measure when it comes to bacon. But this stuff, I like, you know, just going by feel and look. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dice my potato. Sweet potatoes are always kind of rough to cut, but like I said, I'm gonna do a medium dice. I'm gonna set these in this bowl real quick. So yeah, you did hear me correctly. This is the sixth and final episode of Out the Box. I hope you guys had fun with us um, and we'll continue to have fun throughout this episode. Um, but we had some great chefs on here. They bought their talent and they gave us their time, uh, which we are very appreciative of. Um, and Valisha. Yes. Valisha <laughs> is the last, but not least, uh, chef that's given us that time and talent and creating something special for us. Um, and we definitely appreciate her being here today with us. I appreciate um, you guys asking me. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Actually, I didn't really thought I didn't really thought, think you got down in the kitchen because I knew when we went through our cohort when we went through our cohort four class together that you were talking about a lot of bacon mm -hmm. um, and presented cupcakes and stuff like that. So I didn't know if you were yeah. into the food. But I was I'm like, a chef at um, Metz Culinary Management. I'm working at a private prep school, so I okay. do brunch and dinners and stuff like that. Okay. I'm a weekend chef. So okay. Yeah. So yeah. So and I do know, the catering. So I yeah. found out something <laughs> and said, hey. Let's get her up in here. You know what I mean? Let's do it. <laughs> and there's a lot of things. It's like the ice sculptures, and y'all were surprised when that Oh, yeah, back. yeah. She also does ice sculptures. She's a, the she, competitions, she, yeah. She just does her thing, man. Um, I like I, being creative and different. I used to do them back in the day. Um, I know we had to do them in culinary school. Yeah. Um, I had the pleasure of doing one or two after that, but since then, I mean, they take a lot of work, a lot of time and a lot of imagination. Now, what did you use, a chainsaw, or did you do old-fashioned? Chainsaw. Old-fashioned. Yeah. We had the, old I mean, we had all the stuff when we were in school, but at the, yeah. I, behind that. I'm scared of chainsaw, so I did the chisel. I did the old-fashioned one. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, this is some olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sprinkle on the potatoes so they don't, you know, get too dried out. No, you don't wanna cook the top. No, we don't cook the top. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Sauce it up. Sauce it up. Don't, you can try it at home, just make sure you don't get food everywhere. <laughs> it takes a little practice. It's a flip it of the wrist. Not the arms, it's the wrist. Get that snap in there. And because I already have olive oil on the potatoes, I'm not going to go ahead and do the pan because it's enough oil. Okay. So I'm just okay. going to make sure that's spread out kind of evenly so everything bakes well. We're going to stick this in the oven. I do 400 and I check in about 15, 20 minutes. I want some carbonylation on it, just some type of darkness, but if you want it differently, you can cook it a little bit longer. It's up to preference. There you go, there you go. Yeah. All right, so we got that in now. Next, we're gonna go ahead and actually, I wanna get these chopped so they can stick in the oil. So these are your uh, collards. Actually, can I get a good rack so I can wipe this down? Yeah, you can just a rack right there. Mm -hmm. And if you're not utilizing that, that, that bowl, you can put your... I'm going to utilize that. Oh, you want to utilize that too? Because I need okay. to... Um, Sorry. Because we got to make I'll be. Dressing. You know what? I'll be right back. I'll use this I'll and be... you can get me another bowl for the dressing. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's fine. We could do that. Just trying to keep it neat and clean got as to. you should when you're cooking. You and I know that no cross contamination. I know it's not that way all the time when you at the house though. Okay, no. mm -hmm. I know. I can see it to your your kitchen right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, you. The kids is good for the cleaning at <laughs> home. <laughs> <laughs> all 
picking that chicken up off the floor and not washing it. I know you, mm -hmm. I see how you do. Because <laughs> you feel because you're the one eating it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to do a little bit at a time, just roll it up so you can get the uh, strips. Um, just rough chop it. You know how much. So you're not doing a chiffonade. I mean, it's somewhat like a chiffonade. It's a thicker not, chiffonade. Yeah, it's yeah. a thicker one. Okay. And if, you, if you're still watching this from the first one to now, then you know what a chiffonade cut is because we went through that. You could do pretty much green leafy, uh, green leaves, uh, basil, spinach, uh, greens, uh, things of that nature. Anything Real. flat, you can roll up and just yeah, go you can roll it up and just slice it down. And we are original here. Um, you know, there ain't none of that fake commercial stuff. <laughs> you know, this is all real. This is all straight from the cuff, from the chest. You know what I mean? We coming to you live and direct um, and just telling you how it really is. Um, we feel that's the best way to go is to keep it real with you guys. Yes. We take this serious. But we want you the guys to, to learn and gain something from this. Um, from, you know, get, whether you're getting a box or whether you're just going to the grocery store trying to be healthy or just trying to do something different and creative. Um, I hope, hopefully, we've brought you something new and different um, that could kind of put your creativity to the test. And by the way, I did rinse these greens and peel the stems off. <laughs> Just bang. to let you know. <laughs> right there. Bang. So keep it real. You see what I'm saying? Because I know you got Because always that one she person. She the greens. She, didn't, she hooked it up already. Yeah. That's why we. That's why they call them chefs. Because they think ahead. You know what I mean? They do the thing. I'm going to do two more. I'm not going to do a whole lot. You can also tear them up in pieces if you're not that comfortable with the knife. It doesn't have to be pretty, it's like a salad, so. We have this, and what we're gonna do now is add some olive oil and salt, and you just kinda wanna massage it to have the salt break down the greens a little bit because that's, we want them to get tender and soft, and we're not cooking them, so this is the way we're gonna do it. And like I said, it's supposed to marinate, so. So this is the first time you've seen these greens prepared without being without any heat added to them so you're just going to let them just going to marinate them and let them you gotta let them sit soften up uh i guess break down a little bit so they're not as um bitter uh hard to the bite you'll still have some bite to it but it won't be as if you just took a leafy green and just bit into it mm. As and as I'm in here, I'm also still kind of pulling them apart a little bit if you want, just to help massage it better. You can pull and break some up at the same time. So whilst um, she continues to break that up and get that prepared, we are going to take a short break and we'll be back in just a few. This segment has been brought to you by Oasis Community Kitchen. Created by Bible Center Church, Oasis Community Kitchen is a certified shared use commercial kitchen and event space located in the Pittsburgh neighborhood of Homewood. Our fully stocked commercial kitchen was designed with everything your small business needs to launch or scale and meets the guidelines for all your food processing requirements. For more information, please contact the operations manager, Ron Harper. Welcome back everybody. Today we have Valicia with us from Valicia's Sweetery and Catering. Um, she is making a salad for us today. Um, she's in the process of, to, of cutting some the vegetables down yeah. and um, making a dressing. Um, and I'll let her explain to you guys what she's about to do. All right, we're gonna start with the cucumber. I'm gonna do a couple slices down it just to make it look presentable for presentation purposes. Just make some slices. It's so for presentation purposes. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Are you picking with me again? Who, <laughs> <laughs> me? No, yeah. never me. I don't pick with anybody, do I, guys? I think he does. No. I remember mm -hmm. class. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna make a couple slices. 
And then I'm gonna cut them in half. Ooh. Now already in the bowl, I have uh, the sweet potatoes that we took out the oven. So we're gonna add the cucumbers. Just put them in there, sprinkle them around. We getting close, folks. We getting close to that time. You know what that is. Taste the time for me. <laughs> All Boom. right. We're gonna cut the green pepper. I know I cut it different. Another coworker used to show me how to cut my green peppers like that. Less waste. Like less, like this? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's a good method. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Get the core out of that real cool and, yep. and you waste you you know, you're not wasting a lot of the pepper. Most people they just utilizing the bottoms and the tops. Exactly. Nothing can go to waste, you gotta use it all. I'm just throwing strips. You can do dice, like I said, everything's preference. It's an easy salad to do. And you know, I understand that some of you guys are meat eaters and meat potato eaters. You might not you eat a lot of greens. So if you do have some greens and stuff or vegetables at home, sometimes you're dumping them, throwing them away because they sat too long. Um, hey, what are you gonna do? Um, for those of you who like your vegetables, and eat a lot of them. This is a quick way of showing you how not to waste some of your vegetables. And I guess if you're a vegan, vegetarian, nine times out of 10, you know how to savor every bit of the vegetables that you have. Mm -hmm. um, you carnivores at home, you gotta practice a little harder. Make yourself a nice little salad with your steak, um, with your chicken. Um, you can do different things. Cut yourself up a little ball of fruit. Um, so meanwhile, good. you're getting all your meat that you wanna eat and your potatoes along with a vegetable. I'm gonna add some red onion to it too. It's always tricky to put on me sometimes. I do small dice with the onions. I know not everybody likes onions, so if they're small, you won't get somebody too picky. From the hip. Yep. See what that knife skills like? Eh, breaking it down for you. All the knife skill classes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's breaking so it down it right. for y'all. All right. I'm only going to do half an onion because, like I said, this salad's a little bit smaller. We also have some lettuce to add to the greens. Rough chop that up too. This is real simple. It doesn't take a lot of time. Even if you don't do the dressing or the marinade with it, I mean, you can put your, your ranch or whatever you want to do. I mean, we, we, we suggest you do healthy, but you know, if you want to go out and do ranch, hey, have at it. Um, but, but this dressing is just so simple that I'm pretty sure everything's right. in your house. Right. Now, the only thing you might not have in your house is the ground mustard, but it's good to have because you always make different things with it. So to start off, I put half the onion in there. I'm going to put the other half in here. I also have some red pepper flakes, some Italian seasoning, and like I said, the mustard. And we also have some balsamic that we're going to put in it. So first, let me cut this other half of this onion. I just feel like we should have balloons and confetti and stuff like that being the last and sixth episode. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, eh, you know, party <laughs> atmosphere, um, but no. Sure, you but guys okay. had fun looking at all the different recipes and stuff from the other. I mean, chefs. you know what? Good food, good company, um, and great conversation. Can't go. That's wrong. enough. You can't go wrong. Um, people break bread um, together, and it means a lot to different, you know, to different uh, people, uh, ethnic groups around the world. Mm -hmm. um, breaking bread is, is, is very important. If somebody breaks bread with you and invites you into their home and, and, and break bread with you. You know, that means a lot. Right, exactly. Um, so, yeah. So, this is three uh, three teaspoons of the mustard. I'm going to add into it. Yes, I measured this stuff out. <laughs> I normally do <laughs> not. Right. <laughs> like I said, anybody watching, they'll be like, oh, she's actually measuring something. But how, you know, how you know? <laughs> you said <laughs> you don't measure nothing. <laughs> yep, I don't. But for this purpose, this for the dressing so everybody can see. I measured out this time. Two teaspoons of uh, Italian seasoning. 
and I'm gonna go light with the red pepper flakes, go to taste, some people might want more. This, I'm gonna do a teaspoon and a half, just, you know, for purposes. Now, balsamic. And this is supposed to sit for a few minutes too, as you marinate and get all the flavors set. So we're gonna mix this, kind of like that. And we're gonna sit it to the side for a second. Can I, can I see that bowl real quick? Can you see that bowl, yeah. yeah. I want to show the folks at home. Um, you know, it, 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 the balsamic gets a little lighter because of the mustard, but overall, I mean, the dressing looks really good. Um, all the little specks in it from the Italian seasonings, um, the, the pepper flakes, and the green, uh, and I'm sorry, uh, red the red onion. Huh, it makes it look <laughs> really, it looks really good, actually. Yes, um, there you go. Thank you. So we're gonna set that there. Now, next, the, uh, we're gonna do the apples, and we have oranges either. Well, also in the box, and you're kind of figuring like apples. Apples go good with salads. Apples are even good roasted. So if, even if you wanted to, you could even roast sweet potatoes and apples together with a little bit of brown sugar and um, butter, and that's what I'm gonna do with some butternut squash. That's a good side dish. I see you got some carrots over here. Are you putting yeah, those in Yeah, those are steamed carrots. We're gonna add this to it too. Okay, okay. You want to go ahead and add those since you skip your head? I mean, I, I no. You do your thing. I, go I ain't ahead. Skip your head. Yeah, I just, go I just ahead. Just sitting there and we ain't mentioned nothing about no. it. So I, you know, I just took it apart I, myself. Yeah, I didn't forget. You know I mean? look Them carrots look good. I didn't forget. Okay. So, quarter your apple. Go ahead and get some dices out of it. Accept preference. I'll do like a little medium dice on it. Make sure y'all don't get nobody no seeds. Get that core out of there. Yeah. Nobody want to be eating nothing nasty and hard. Now, if you're doing this ahead of time, you want to wait to do your apples last. You can um, soak them in um, lemon juice or something just so they don't lose their color or just do the apples at very last. But since I'm making it now, I'm just going to go ahead and put them in. So all those who are making it ahead of the day, do the apples the day of. Toss those in there. And some things I'm trying to make a little bit bigger than others for texture. I like texture when I eat along with color. So, you know, because the greens are kind of flat on their own. So you want some things to have body and texture to it. Okay, so you, you get y'all getting a lesson today. Body, <laughs> texture, size, everything, man. I mean, she's just coming fully equipped. And that's what Try I'm talking to. about. That's how they I, mean? I bake. <laughs> going out with a bang, taking, oh, taking, out the box out with the bang, with the bang. <laughs> Big bang theory. You know, that's how we do it. Straight from the cup. Gotta keep it real. Now for Ron's favorite part, we have some steamed carrots that we're gonna go ahead and add. It's like she said, <laughs> it's my favorite part. Just throw some carrots on in there. They help me see. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was seeing them and wanting them in there. Mm -hmm. So. Riding around with the readers. Help eating them carrots. I think it might be too far gone by now, but we'll see. Also, I rinsed these off ahead of time, just so everybody knows. <laughs> and we're gonna add some cherry tomatoes to this. Just a couple right now. I'm gonna add some more to the top when we garnish. I just wanna, this is everything I'm just kinda mixing in. I always wanna save some tomatoes for the top. So, next, my least favorite is trying to get this <laughs> orange peel. So we're gonna go ahead. Ron might have to help me with this one because of these uh -huh. nails. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm butchering the orange. Butchering it? Yeah, I'm butchering it. They're getting it there. I don't know why. I just like, that's my least favorite is peeling the orange. I don't like all this stuff now. So you got a paring knife? So what you, you can't do it with your chef knife? Or you, or you need something smaller? I like something smaller. be more comfortable because I won't slip with it. If you don't have it, I can do it with the chef knife though. I'll be back in one second. You got to leave for a second. I'm back with the correct tools for the job. I just want to get some of this stuff off. All right. I don't know about everybody else. I just don't like it on there. So, so this is personal preference. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like it's going to bother. It's going to affect you in any way, in a negative, in a negative way. Um, she just like it for. Um, presentation, presentation and dish wise, my nerves. right. 
and, and, it, and it's I'm loving the fact that she's she's into presentation. Um, you gotta be. Cause that's what people first of all batter. First thing people buy food with is the is sight, vision. Yes. They, they 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 like what they see and they buy it. Now you got to make it taste good too, but make it look good. And also being a baker, I'm one more with hands and ut uh, utensils, so I'm, my hands are clean. I'm going to go ahead and toss this just to mix everything together. And this is more of a filler when it comes to cooking. So while she's tossing that salad, we're going to take a quick break and be back with some goody treats for me to eat. See you in a sec. Everyday Cafe is a coffee shop with a cause. Created by Bible Center Church as a place for our neighbors to connect and enjoy great coffee and made to order breakfast and lunch. Our goal is to provide a beautiful and peaceful space in our community to celebrate art and culture, create jobs, and encourage the growth of the Homewood Avenue Business District. From grabbing a cup of coffee in the morning to providing pastries or box lunches for meetings or parties, we want Everyday Cafe to be your everyday cafe. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, we are back with Felicia uh, for Felicia's uh, sweetery and catering, catering, sorry, um, to finish up her salad for the day. Um, she's going to add the last remaining, remaining ingredients um, to the salad so I can go to my favorite part and tasting the food um, and, we can, and wrapping it up. So I'm going to let her explain what she's about to do to finish up. All right, so we're gonna take this dressing and we're gonna go ahead and dump it all in there. Like I said, it's the balsamic, the onions, the red pepper flakes, the Italian seasoning, okay. and the onion. So okay. we have all that in there. Also, we have some cheese. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. Now try to save some, some for the top for garnish as well, so. Tossing it up, there you go. Put your hands in it. I just... It's your salad, you eat it, put your hands in it. <laughs> yeah, it's clean. I like to mix it up, so... Like I said, you see all the colors. You see the sweet potatoes, you see the carrots, and the cucumbers and tomatoes, so it's really colorful. And like I said, this has to marinate so that um, the greens can break down. That's the only thing. You really have to marinate it, so... I have one that's already been marinating for a couple hours. Like I said, the best is up to 12, but minimum four. So... Okay. So now that she just showed you the steps and the proper and the proper way of making the salad, um, we're going to go ahead and bring in the salad that she already has prepared for us today. Um, it's looking great, looking beautiful. Presentations, everything, color, all around, and I'm pretty sure she got it has everything mixed in the middle and, and layered, the below yeah. layered. Yep. Um, I mean, it looks really good. So what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do my thing and um, I'm gonna get busy um, with a fork this time. It took the sixth episode for me to get a fork and not a spoon. But you know what? I think I'm gonna use a spoon too. Um, if I'm gonna be anything, I'm gonna be consistent. So I'm gonna still use a spoon with the assistance of a fork. So I'm gonna mix this stuff up with my, try to get a little bit of everything in here on my fork, get my spoon in there, bang. That's sweet potato. Sweet potato, I get the sweet, this is the, the, That's the carrot. got the apple with the carrot. You know what, I might have to eat this in sections because there's <laughs> a lot of stuff on here. Yeah, make um, sure you get that cheese off. Yeah. Um, Sorry about the cheese. That's all right, I'm gonna make this happen. So I'm gonna take a little piece of this and then add some more flavors into it once I get it in my mouth, this fork is too small to get everything I need to get on it. Mm-hmm. Right foot. Get some apple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get some of that sweet potato. Okay. There it is. There it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need to spin. I know, right? <laughs> that carrot is... It breaks down with the dressing. Even yeah, though it you does. just roasted it, the sweet potato breaks down. Mm-hmm. Hopefully I'll pass out. I, know. Air, my I forgot I even allergic to cheese. That's my fault. I'm sorry. But um, it's good. 
That's really good, actually. Like I said, I'm a carnivore. I don't get to do too many salads. But when I do, I like to enjoy them. And there's a lot of different elements, flavors, layers to the salad that I'm enjoying. And if you gotta be a carnivore, you can have a roasted chicken on the side and have this with it, so. But one thing I can't get down with is the Pittsburgh chicken salad or steak salad. You got your fries, you got your greens, and you got your meat. All in one serve, all in one meal. And it just, you get a slobber, some, <laughs> some ranch dressing or whatever dressing you like to put on top of it, but it all comes together. But this right here is good, it's straight out the box. Um, nothing from the outside, no chicken, no meats. It's straight out the box, especially this is a good um, meal or item that you vegetarians and vegans, well, because of the cheese, no vegans, but some of you vegetarians can eat that. So with the parmesan. Like vegan cheese is pretty good. Right. Pretty good enough right. Too. I mean, you can just substitute yeah. the parm out for a vegan cheese, um, but the flavors are really good. And just like, uh, like Valicia said, if um, you let it marinate even longer, the flavors will come more pungent and you'll get all those uh, uh, aromas and, and different layers of flavor um, even stronger. And the greens will break down even more. That's the main thing. You want the greens to break down. But um, yeah, this this is good. Um, six for six. Uh, out the box, Oasis Kitchen. Knocked it out the box. Um, we love being here. We love bringing you all this delicious food. All the great chefs that we have visit us. Um, it's been a, for me, it's, I tell you, it's been a, a fabulous road to travel. Um, we may be back with something else, you never know. Um, I'm gonna let you guys sit at home and ponder whether we are or not to see what we do. Um, if it's not out the box, it may be something else. Just keep your ears peeled, keep your eyes open. And um, we're gonna leave it on that note, but is there anything that you would like to tell the ladies and gentlemen at home? Um, any advice you would like to give them? Any information you would like to give them? Just stay eating healthy. It's just the best thing to do. It's easy. Half the stuff is at home besides out, um, getting stuff out the box. Um, if you want to reach out to me for any baking needs or catering needs, Valicia Sweetery and Catering um, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, phone number 412-291-0676. Just reach out to me if you need anything. Okay, great. Um, for all you ladies and gentlemen and little peewees at home, if you've been watching us, we appreciate you. Um, we hope that we, in the future, if we come out with something else that you guys will follow us then. Um, other than that, I am signing off with another edition out the box with the ladies. That's big. Um, so long. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, hey guys. We want to thank our produce sponsors. The American Heart Association has provided produce boxes throughout Allegheny County through their Eat Your Healthy Heart Out campaign. The produce in the boxes and used by the out of the box chefs come from Monteverdi's produce. We appreciate the commitment of these partners to keeping our communities healthy by providing delicious produce. Thank you.